hey guys welcome back to my channel ag motion designs and in today's video we are going to create this kinetic typographic animation inside of after effects without using any third party plugin so if you are new to this channel then please consider to subscribe this channel and also hit the bell icon to get more updates so without wasting any more time let's get started So here we are in adobe after effect let's create a new composition and we are going to call it as main animation like this and width i'm going to choose over here is 1920 and height i'm going to choose 180 duration we are going to choose 60 seconds which means almost one minute and background color is white color and simply hit ok then go to choose grid and guide option and hit on titles section and let's make this fit now i'm going to press ctrl and again to create another composition and i'm going to name it as text and width i'm going to choose 200 and height i'm going to choose 80 and then hit ok like this then press ctrl y to create one solid background and hit ok now i'm going to select my text tool and for the font i'm going to choose poppins bold version and distance between this font is minus 50 and first we will type our first text and i'm going to type over here is eat then select this text press ctrl alt home go to the align tab align it horizontally and then align it vertically press s for scaling option and scale it like this now select both the layers and press ctrl shift c to pre compose this and let's call it as eat like this now select this eat comp and hit ctrl d double click to open this now select this text and uh, let's replace this text with sleep okay then select this text press ctrl alt home go to the align tab align it horizontally and vertically press s and let's decrease the size a little bit like this now over here i'm going to select this text and i'll go to the character menu and i'm going to choose white color then select this white solid background and over here i'm going to press ctrl shift y to open the solid settings and instead of white color i'm going to choose black color hit ok like this and hit new and let's make this fit now like this now go to the text uh, comp over here and we are going to bring this e2 but uh, what we need to do over here in project window instead of e2 i'll hit enter and let's call it as sleep like this and bring this layer over here now select this e layer and hit ctrl d and let's bring this at the background now we are going to uh, animate this e layer over here so press p for position let's create one keyframe over here like this and now mm, what we need to do over here let's go somewhere around let's say one second and i'm going to move this over here like this okay so basically you can choose minus 40 right now over here is 40 then you can do over here is minus 40 like this then go to 10 frames let's create one keyframe and then go to around uh, 2.10 frames over here and again i'm going to make it minus 80 like this or uh, instead of that what we can do let's simply go at this point uh, let's say and i'm going to select this sleep over here and make sure that you are this current time indicator it should be over here and let's select this and let's make it apparent with eat okay then i'm gonna go somewhere around 2.10 frames and then i'm going to select this and i'll move this until it's going to touch this edge over here so let's move this over here like this okay so if you see this i'll get this then i'll get this then at this point i'm going to select this eat over here and i'll make it apparent with this eat comp over here so what will happen first i'll get this then i'll get this then again i'm going to take a gap of 10 frames and i'm going to create another keyframe then i'm going to select this keyframes and then i'm going to hit f9 then go to the graph editor right click and make sure that you are in edit speed graph select this graph by holding shift move one handle over here and one handle over here so if you see you'll get this and this okay so this is our basic animation now right click new and create or instead of that let's select all the layers and press ctrl shift c to pre-compose this and i'm going to name it as text animation like this and press s for creating one keyframe create one keyframe over here go to around one second and let's make this scale 80 like this then go to around 10 frames again create one keyframe go to around 2.10 let's make this 100 go 10 frame forwards and let's make create another keyframe select those keyframes and hit f9 
go to the graph editor select this graph by holding shift i'm going to move one handle over here and one handle over here so if you see along with this animation you will get this scaling animation also now alt click on the stopwatch over here and apply loop out expression on it like this also go inside this text animation and hit u and select those keyframes and apply loop out expression on it like this okay so if you see this text now after this you will get this continuous form of loop okay then i'm going to select this layer and i'll go to the effect and presets panel and i'm going to search for drop shadow effect and simply double click to apply and increase the softness to 100 like this and change the opacity to 30 then go to the main animation and hit ctrl 0 to open the project window and we are going to select this text comp over here and i'll simply bring this over here so if you see you will get this kind of stuff now press ctrl k to open the project settings and over here i'm going to choose red color for this one and simply hit ok like this now zoom in a little bit and let's go to around somewhere over here or at the start and now i'm going to select this and first of all enable this snapping option over here so what will happen whenever you are going to move it will properly snap at the edge so i'll hit ctrl d and i'll snap this over here hit ctrl d snap this over here hit ctrl d move this over here hit ctrl d move this over here hit ctrl d move this over here like this okay then i'm going to select this much portion layers like this only and hit ctrl d and let's bring all of them at the top i mean at the bottom and simply move all of them over here so it will snap at this point properly like this now i want them to animate one by one so i'm going to take a distance of five five frames so i'll still go to the five frames i'll select this and this by holding shift and with the help of open bracket i'll move this over here then go to around 10 frames select this layer and this layer move this over here 15 frames select this and this move this over here go to around 20 frames select this and this move this over here go to 25 select this and this move this over here now after doing that select all of them by hitting ctrl a hold alt open bracket to trim this out go to the start and with the open open bracket let's move this over here so what will happen if you see this animation you will get this kind of animation so uh, let's go somewhere around over here and first of all i'm going to open this text layer comp and i'll hit ctrl k to see the project settings over here if you see the height is 80 so what we are going to do let's uh, go to the main animation and we are going to select all of these layers so press ctrl a press ctrl shift c we are going to call it as text line and hit ok okay let's go inside this text line and hit ctrl k and let's make this height 80 over here like this okay so after doing that let's select this layer and hit ctrl d and first we will bring this uh, over here let's uh, snap it over here again hit ctrl d let's snap this over here again hit ctrl d snap this over here again hit ctrl d over here hit ctrl d over here hit ctrl d snap this at the edge hit ctrl d snap this at this edge okay so this is going to be my middle one so let's select all of this uh, layers hit ctrl d and let's bring them at the bottom like this and let's bring all of them over here like this okay so if you hit play if you want this animation then this is also okay but uh, press ctrl k to open the project settings or instead of uh, hitting ctrl k i'll simply hit ctrl y to create one solid background and i'm going to choose white color over here and let's bring this at the bottom like this okay so if you see we will get this kind of animation and now i want them to be animated in different ways so i'll lock this one and let's choose the middle one over here and let's lock this and now again i'm going to take a distance of five frames over here i'll select this comp and this comp and let's move this over here go to 10 frames select this and this move this over here go to 15 frames select this and this move this over here go to 20 select this and this move this over here go to 25 frames select this one and this one move this over here go to around one second select this one and this one and let's move this over here go to around somewhere over here select this and this move this over here 
let's unlock this layers and select all of these layers and press alt open bracket to trim this out go to the start and let's move them over here so now if you see this animation you will get this kind of pattern okay so this is also one type of animation that you can do and if you go inside this text animation and if you see my looping point is at 2.20 frames so if i go over here and if i go to so let's say somewhere around 2.20 frames and if i hit n over here so now i'm gonna get this continuous animation in the form of loop as you guys can see this is up to 2.20 frames but this animation is in the form of loop so this is also you can do one thing and there is another thing you can do if you go to the text animation over here let's say and now suppose i'm going to select this text animation layer and i'm going to apply tint effect on it let's say and double click to apply over here and let's instead of uh, let's say uh, instead of black color i'm going to choose a red color let's say over here let's select this and we will create one keyframe at red map and hit u then let's go somewhere around um, over here let's say 20 frames i'm going to choose purple color go 20 frame forward let's choose blue color let's go over here let's choose somewhere around yellow color like this or orangey and at the last i'm going to copy my first color code like this and now i'm going to select those keyframes and i'm going to hit f9 so if i see this stuff over here i'll get this change in color and now i'm going to alt click on the stopwatch over here and i'm going to apply loop out expression on it like this so what will happen i'll get this animation continuously and now if i see this thing in my main animation over here as you guys can see we are getting this color code um, animation and that is also in the form of loop so this is how you can create this kind of pattern inside of after effects and you can choose text whatever we you want you can choose even motion design text also but this is how you can create this kind of kinetic typographic animation inside of after effects